Well, we're about a week and a half away from Christmas and things have really warmed up over the past few days. A lot of us have seen the 40s and it looks like we'll be looking out for rain as we head into the evening hours. But just look on the back side of this system, seeing the snow beginning to develop back into western Minnesota and back into South Dakota as well. That will work its way eastward and we'll start to pick up on our snow uh, fall as we head into the evening. Uh, late tonight, heading, hurting, heading into early Tuesday morning and then seeing more of it as we head into Tuesday and maybe even for us on Wednesday. But for for the early portions of the evening, we'll be looking out for the rain, so make sure to have that umbrella ready before you head out. Right now, temps are in the upper 30s as we are at 39 degrees. We do have the fog. We've had to deal with that for a while. Advisories are out, so I'll uh, update you on that a little bit later here in the segment. But winds have been light, and as we take a look at temps across the rest of the UP, we are here in Marquette. We are at 39 degrees, more the 40s off to the west, 44 degrees in Alton, 43 in Ironwood. Quite mild as you go farther south as well, 41 across the falls, and at 40 in Menominee and off to the east, lower 40s in Munising, upper 30s in Escanaba. And for us here in Ishpeming, we are at 39 degrees. But winds have come in from the south throughout most of the weekend, and currently we are anywhere between 5 to 10 miles per hour. Escanaba at 7, 5 in Honewall at 6 miles per hour in Iron Mountain. And across the state, even seeing the 40s farther off to the south, 50 degrees in Flint at 44 in Gaylord and at 49 in Traverse City. With temps like these, we have really seen the snow melt, and we would like to have some snow on the ground before uh, Christmas comes in. And guess what? More is on the way, and we'll take a look at that here in a few graphics. Weather headlines, though, becoming cooler as we head throughout the overnight, as that cooler air does begin to sink its way southward. And with that cooler air starting to interact with the moisture we have in place, We'll start to see more of that snow as we go throughout Tuesday and Wednesday, and it'll start to feel more like winter as we go into the mid and latter portions of this week. But we do have a dense fog advisory for the entire UP, and that is until 8 p.m. tonight, so not too much longer with that, but we have had to deal with that. And make sure just to drive a little slowly and have your low beams on as you're going out throughout the evening. As we take a look at our setup, area of low pressure working its way northeastward, bringing in that milder air mass on the front side, but on the back side, uh, here comes that cool air, and we'll see more of that snow as we head throughout the later portions of tonight and then definitely as we head into Tuesday, we'll be looking out for more of the snow throughout the entire UP. And how much are we expecting? Well, as you get closer to the Lake Superior shorelines, anywhere between five to eight inches. So starting to replace that snow that we've seen melt throughout the past few days, three to six, a little farther off to the south here into the lighter blue and then one to three for a lot of us right along Lake Michigan. Let's go ahead and take a look at your future cast model. Here comes the system from the southwest, starting off as rain as we go uh, mostly before the midnight hour, but as we get past midnight and going into the early morning hours on Tuesday, here comes more of that snow, continuing with the snow on into Tuesday night and also for us on Wednesday. It looks like it should begin to taper off and start to head out of here. For tonight, we'll call for a low of 29 degrees as rain begins to change back over to snow. Northwest winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now for us on Tuesday, drenching or decreasing temperatures uh, with snow on the way for us. Northwest winds between 10 to 20 miles per hour. And I say decreasing temperatures because a lot of these highs will be early in the morning. 26 in Launch, 30 degrees in Crystal Falls, while at 28 in Marquette and at 36 in Munising. Your seven day forecast, more snow for us on Tuesday, but then as we get into Wednesday, starting to see that taper off by Wednesday evening and Wednesday night. Look at highs, they'll back down into the mid 20s as we end off the work week. Mostly sunny though, as we head into Friday and also for us on into the weekend.